it's probably useful to offer a definition of geospatial intelligence, of geoint. Intelligence about human activity on Earth that is derived from exploitation and analysis of imagery and other geospatial information, and that describes, assesses, and visually depicts physical features and geographically referenced activities on Earth. Now, what is significant about this right now uh, is that I think without actually recognizing it in full, uh, GeoInt is enabling a true transformation uh, in how we are fighting terrorists around the world. But it's not just the ISR platforms. Uh, it is also the industrial strength ability to uh, fuse intelligence. It's big data where you are digitizing all of the products of your uh, ISR platforms and also then integrating human intelligence. We don't understand the impact of globalization, but one of the things globalization has done is increase the number of fragile or failed states. Condoleezza Rice said, failed states are incubators of terrorism. Uh, and those failed and fragile states should be our focal point now because if we're going to bring them into the system, they've got to be working systems. And that's where geospatial intelligence re is really important. But these failed and fragile states has increased the attention of the international system. And so we've had a dramatic increase in humanitarian intervention. So what happened in 2005, a movement also that came out of the human security movement, was what we call the responsibility to protect. R2P means we have a responsibility as a global community uh, to prevent conflict, uh, to protect citizens who are in conflict or who are in a human security danger, and to rebuild societies. Four different gang uh, operations in the Port of LA and Long Beach area, and those boundaries change over time. Okay, so it's a temporal issue. It's not just a snapshot. Things are changing all the time. Where the benefit of GeoInt can help is understanding that changing uh, uh, framework, particularly in the social economic side, which, which neighborhoods are sinking economically, which ones are growing. It's these pockets, whether it's the ports, or the city of LA, or Chicago, or New York, where the demographics are changing. Jobs are lost or gained. Uh, economic uh, uh, situation changes is where you start to see the fraying of the social fabric and then you, you start to see extremists, you know, people blaming others for their problems. And you can see that in a GeoInt uh, presentation. Trying to understand the human terrain and mapping that human terrain and depicting it and then appreciating what it means is hugely important and I uh, often describe what's going on right now in Mosul is there's no question that we will defeat the Islamic State there, none. We will, right. that's a given. That's not the battle that matters most. The battle that will be the toughest is the battle over power and resources right. in the wake of the clearance of Mosul and Nainor province. And that's because the human terrain there is so incredibly complex. All of this is the kind of understanding that's necessary if you're going to ultimately build a government that is representative of all the people, that is responsive to them within the means available, and most importantly guarantees minority rights as well as majority rule. And understanding all of this is what this is all about, and using GeoInt to depict, to help the understanding, uh, is crucial.